All right. And last up, wouldn't be a story if we didn't talk about a little Voyager. So, Voyager, what the heck is going on here? Well, let's be honest. Voyager isn't doing so hot right now, right? So, Voyager, in, in its entirety, it, right now, we're looking at huh, not too great of, of a price tag. Let's take a look here. Let's put it in US dollars. There we go. It's a little better. So $4.05. What's happened over the last, ooh, let's say, hour, 24 hours, seven days? Not too great, right? And we've, uh, let's take a look at the seven day. Still going down. So we were at 525. Now we're at four bucks. Actually, we're at 390. Pretty awful, right? Let's take a look at the last two weeks. Nah, went up a little bit, but still went down. So it's been a pretty tumultuous time frame. And what's going on here? Well, if you don't know, there is going to be a token swap for LGO, uh, which was the merger that they had for the institution for the uh, exchange over there in France, which they are uh, merging with. The LG to LGO token and Voyager token is going to be a token swap towards the end of April, around May 1st or so. So until that time, and I've, I've said this, this has been my third time talking about it. I said it's either going to decrease the the, uh, the actual price for the Voyager token or just going to trade sideways. So we're, we went down a little bit. That's awful. Isn't it awful? No, it's not awful. I'll tell you why. So first of all, I want you to back up. My friend Diddy says, when in doubt, zoom out. Let's take a look at the 30 day for Voyager. So not too bad, right? Still a little bit down, up and down. Let's take a look at 90 days. All right. Well, we started down here at around... 14 cents, and then we went all the way up to almost, seven, well, it was $7 at some point, 7.09. Take a look at 180 days. And this is pretty much flat at 12 cents. This is just six months. Imagine this. I was talking about this on the channel, January 7th, on my price prediction, when it was 29 cents. And then people were all ecstatic about it. And now people are coming at me like, what's up with your, with your pick? What's up with Voyager? It only went up, I don't know, 1,000% or something like that. And uh, well, it wasn't that much percent of like 30, 10, only went up 20x, 25x. How dare you? And now it's down to four bucks. Hey, it, it is what it is. Uh, again, not financial advice. I told you when it was a 29 cents, and if you would have gone there, it would have been great. If you would have got a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, sure. And right now, some people picked it up at five dollars, six dollars, seven dollars, and they're upset because they didn't hit that, that time frame. So here's the thing. You, can, you got two options, right? If it was me, I can't give you financial advice, but, I, but you really got two options. You can complain about it and you can say, you know what? I'm just going to uh, just sell it at a loss. Okay, but I will tell you this. I'm not in the business of losing money. Me personally, I'm not doing that. I'm going to hold on because I know that that token swap is coming up. I know that that loyalty pro program is happening. I know that there's a debit card coming. There is a credit card company. There is direct swaps between stocks and cryptocurrency right on the platform. I know that there's a 7% uh, staking uh, interest rate that I can get just for staking uh, Voyager. And right now, and this is what I talked about in, the, in the, my tweet. I said, look, if you're upset because of this price, maybe you went in a little bit too heavy. Maybe I don't recommend that to anybody. To me, well, I, again, me personally, I just dollar cost average. I'm not gonna take $150,000 and dump it on Voyager last week and go, you know what? I think it's going to go up uh, 10x. That is ridiculous. That's why I'm always talking about dollar cost averaging. If you just were to say, you know what? Hey, look, I've got $10,000, 500 bucks, $100, 25 cents. I don't know what you've got. And you're like, I'm just going to put this in a little bit, a little bit. Then it usually evens itself out. This, this, this whole market, is, is super tumultuous. It is very volatile. So don't put everything in all at once. I'm not recommending that. I'm not going to do that for myself, but you can do whatever you want to. So I said in this, in this tweet, I go, look, if you are a believer in what's going to happen with Voyager, if you think it's got a great team, you think things are, are going on pretty well, if you, and also they're going through growing pains, there's no question about that. I even put a customer support ticket on uh, three days ago, still hasn't gotten answered. It's just growing pains because everything is growing so fast. But if you don't believe in it, then maybe you should get out. But if you think like, you know what, 
this is a great opportunity dollar cost average because it was at seven dollars has anything changed has there been a huge hack has the ceo stepped down has the whole team just said you know what we're done with this place has there been a lawsuit by the sec or something like that sorry xrp is what it is no so the fundamentals haven't changed so if you're looking at like now right now going hmm it's four bucks and it was seven bucks now that loyalty program is going to come out it's up to you to do your own research and if you want to go down this route then you can but if you don't then it's time to get out and uh, that i say is up to you all right so that is it for today so first of all thanks so much for uh, sticking with me i really appreciate it if you like the video give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing a lot of things that we do talk about are time sensitive that's all for today thanks so much see you on the next one